uh, hello everyone in this video we will talk about call and put options uh, so first of all uh, it should be remembered that uh, call or put uh, are the options so if you buy them it's an option for you uh, it's not a obligation or it's not uh, um, uh, it doesn't force you to do something uh, when it expires however you have an option to whether to use it or not right so let's uh, begin with the example so suppose if there is a stock uh, which is priced at ten dollars so uh, you and you think that this stock will go up in the price however you don't want to uh, take a lot of risk uh, because you are concerned that if it goes down uh, uh, i don't want to lose money and same time uh, you don't even want to invest uh, ten dollars for maybe next six months uh, so so what are the other things you can do so that other thing you can do is buy the call option so what does call option means is that uh, suppose uh, you think that it, right now the price is ten dollar and you think it gonna go up uh, from ten dollars so you can uh, say that uh, that uh, I have the option to buy stock for uh, ten dollars uh, after six months so in that case somebody else is giving you this option that irrespective of whatever the price is you can buy that stock from him for ten dollars and in that case we call ten dollar as a strike price and this is the expiration time So to buy this option, you have to pay some money and suppose that price of uh, call is $1. So in this case, this is the option for you. So it doesn't uh, force you to buy it at $10. Suppose uh, the stock price is uh, less in the future, then you don't want to use this option because why would you buy the stock at $10 if it's available in the market for $5, right? However, if it goes to $15, then you will think, that yes i'll buy it for ten dollars and i can sell immediately at fifteen dollars you will get five dollars profit so this is what we call call option uh, so <clears throat> let's do the uh, like the comparison in to the stock buying so if you buy a stock stock uh, buy stock and this is the case where you uh, buy call <coughs> So there could be uh, two scenarios. Uh, so uh, at uh, time is equal to zero, uh, price is uh, fifteen dollars, and uh, price is fifteen dollars. This is our uh, stock price, and uh, at uh, time is equal to six months, uh, it can go to either. Uh, let's say uh, it can go to uh, five or 15 right it can go up so it went to 5 or it went up to 15 and uh, same thing here so it went to 5 or it goes to 15 right so this is uh, also the stock price after six months so <coughs> so what will be the profit so if we talk about the profit so uh, if it goes to 15 dollars so your profit will be five dollars so this is profit and, uh, and in this case the profit will be <coughs> uh, five dollars but you paid one dollar for the call so price uh, of call uh, is equal to one dollar right so you have to subtract that one from it so your profit will be equal to four dollars so your profit is less than uh, <coughs> uh, than what you would have if you bought a stock however when you talk about the loss in this case the loss will be minus five if it goes down however in this case the loss will be only one dollar which you paid for the call option so you have uh, lowered down the risk which was associated with this stock and uh, this will allow you to uh, 
it, it's it's like an insurance uh, to the investment you wanted to make and the other part is if you look at the return uh, so you invested ten dollars so here your investment investment if you talk about investment it was ten dollars but here the investment was only one dollar so if you if you look at the profit the profit was uh, around it goes from 10 to 5 so it was 50 percent profit but if you look here it goes from 1 to 4 so the profit was almost 400 percent so your rate of return is much higher in case of uh, uh, call and same time if you talk about loss so loss is also minus 50 percent and here the loss is 100 percent so obviously uh, it's much more uh, riskier if you just look at the absolute investment uh, if you you should not spend all your money in uh, buying a call uh, but uh, uh, as compared to stock they are uh, much uh, more uh, uh, logic to it and uh, you are kind of insured uh, with the respect to your bet so now let's again uh, try to make a graph for a call option uh, so so let's uh, do this uh, so suppose uh, strike price uh, is equal to 10 uh, stock price is equal to 10 uh, price of call uh, is equal to 1 right this is the same uh, thing what we had so now if we draw uh, the chart and uh, so what it will look like is that the value of call value of call will be equal to will increase like this and this will be the ten dollar and this is uh, stock price so if stock price increases beyond ten dollars then the value of call will increase if its stock price decreases uh, below uh, uh, and goes below ten then the value of call will be zero right but same thing if we look at uh, profit uh, from buying a call then in this case again it's the stock price uh, because we paid one dollar for it so we'll have something like this and in this case we'll have a loss of one dollar the stock price goes uh, <clears throat> below ten dollars and uh, we'll only start to make money when stock price will go above 11 because one dollar is our price for the call so this will be 11 in this case so this is how the call option uh, charts look like uh, now let's uh, talk about the put option in case of put uh, instead of uh, uh, having a option to buy the stock this is an option to sell the stock so again if uh, stock uh, price uh, is equal to uh, <coughs> $10 and uh, put uh, strike is equal to ten dollars and price is equal to one dollar and uh, so what will happen is that uh, if stock price now let's take a scenario again so uh, uh, stock price can either go to five so it is it was ten or either go to fifteen so if you are buying the stock uh, so you if you are shorting the sh uh, stock if you sell the stock then your uh, profit uh, so this is profit profit in this case will be uh, minus or oh, plus 5 because you are you sell the stock but in this case it will be minus 5 right so this is your profit but however if you buy put so in this case your profit will be equal to 4 because it should be 5 but you paid $1 for the put and uh, your uh, loss in case the stock price increases will be equal to uh, minus one because that is the money you paid for the put and put is no longer useful once you one if the stock price goes uh, above the strike price so again if you try to plot a graph for it so this is price and uh, uh, no this is the value of put and this is the stock price so this is how 
uh, it will look and this is our ten dollars uh, but if we try to draw uh, the profit then it, this is how it will look and this will be nine dollars and this should be equal to one dollar and uh, this is the stock price so this is how the put works so in a way um, if we want to buy a stock uh, so suppose uh, uh, we buy a stock and uh, buy a put so what will happen in that case is that uh, uh, if a stock price goes up you will get a profit however uh, if it goes uh, below then uh, uh, we have a put so we can always sell it at the strike price so we can save ourselves uh, from the uh, like the losses so buying a stock and uh, uh, buying a put uh, is almost equivalent to the uh, buying a call however uh, in this case uh, we are uh, also investing money uh, on the stock uh, which we are not doing when we buy the call so that should uh, we should also uh, add up uh, the um, interest we have to pay to buy that stock so it will be interest uh, we have to pay to, to buy a stock so this is how uh, this is what we call the call put parity or how the call and put are related to each other so i hope this tutorial uh, will help you and uh, i'll get back to you again thanks